Hi, Travis Zimmerman here from Speak My Word Ministries, and today's daily pulse is about perspectives. And I, the, word, the word of the Lord I'm choosing to, to share with you this morning is Isaiah 55, verses 8 through 9. And this is God speaking, for my, way, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, verses 8 through 9. You know, I was thinking the other day, you know, just from a perspective, you know, God's perspective versus our perspective. And, you know, if, if, if God were asking me, what I choose is I would choose no, no challenges, no, no troubles, no sorrows. You know, essentially what I would choose is heaven. But that's not here right now, is it? No. You know, we know life on earth to be just, you know, many times the opposite of that. Lots of bad things going on, lots of challenges, lots of tribulations, lots of things that are going the way we don't wish they would go. And people say, th people say the darndest things, don't we? But, you know, as you read through the Bible, you see how God, you know, first there was the Garden of Eden and it was perfect. And, and Adam and Eve fellowship with God face to face. But they committed sin and, and were cast out. They ate from the tree of good, the knowledge of good and evil and they were cast out. And then you see that, you know, you know, several centuries later, you see the Israelites coming into the promised land. And then that ends up, you know, they end up worshiping other gods and they get, they get tossed out. And, you know, there's many times where God sets up situations where they're going to be good, but we as a people, we just, we stray, we go this way, we go that way. And, you know, it, you know, it finally occurred to me, and uh, this is just a, a recent devotional that the Lord shared with me, you know, his plan's perfect, right? His timing's perfect. So actually what we're going through right now is according to God's plan. You know, because what happens is when God gives us perfection or close to perfection, we end up thinking, well, I can do it by myself, and I don't need God, and who is he? You know, and we do, you know, guilty. We do things like that all the time. So as challenging as your life might, might be right now, you know, just take heart, because these challenges God means to grow our faith in, and he means to grow us closer to him and reconcile him to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who saved us. So again, again, I, I wouldn't choose this life, but just remember, God's got a plan. It's perfect for your life. We can trust him in everything. Amen.